track is sick and we're gonna go have some fun and drive with everybody here. Bill Motor, one piece headlights. <laughs> Z's, more Z's. Oh God, they're everywhere. They're everywhere. You know what Z's are for? <laughs> Sleeping. We are here, Lone Star Drift. It has been like years since I've driven a Lone Star Drift event. I came to Houston in a 40 degree day. It's cold. It's real cold. And it's not supposed to get very much warmer and it's supposed to be windy, but we're gonna be in a car driving all day. We got this E36 here. Um, that just had a motor swap like two nights ago for no reason. It ran perfectly fine, but Aaron said it didn't have enough horsepower uh, for this track. <laughs> so he did a big like LS3 swap of some sort and it makes like 470 horsepower and has like a big cam and some other things. It has some sort of ECU in it that's not stock because the stock ECU is not plugged in. It was green, but now it's yellow and yellow is much better than Boston green. <laughs> Many people will disagree with me, but for me, yellow is a good color because that's what I've had and driven for the last few years. It's got SLR, it's got BCs, it's got seats in it, no cage, simple, and I'm excited to drive it. Oh, and it's a slick top. Nice. They ruined a non-sunroof car. I don't know if you can call it ruined or not. So we're gonna drive it, see how it does, and then they have a backup car for me because I'm gonna be doing a lot of ride-alongs and uh, putting some smiles on faces, which is this S14, which actually won final bout. And then they raised it up, I guess. It's this a good feeling. I don't know, that's what they said. Crazy, poor final boat. I don't know. Oh, final boat Aaron six? Told me it was in, in part of the winning thing of team of final bout. Doesn't look that cool anymore though. It probably had sick wheels on it. Not that RPF ones aren't sick. But now it just looks like a decent drift car instead of a stancy voice drift car. So this car has another LS, big motor, looks like PBM, BCs, nice cooling system, simple. Looks like a little uh, expansion tank here for that. I don't know that much about these cars, I'm just pointing out what I see. <laughs> I have not even driven an S chassis in probably a long time, 10 years maybe. So it'll be good if I need to jump in this to drive, I would do that too. But they have two cars, lots of tires, the track is sick, and uh, we're gonna go have some fun and drive with everybody. <laughs>
camber on it because all the insides of the tires are blowing off of it. Oh, no. It's a good car though. Good power. It's probably got 480 wheel, it feels like. Instant, lots of torque. Suspension's decent. It's got digressive VCs on it, so like the valving's a little stiff for this tire and this spring and whatnot, but it does everything. I mean, I was just dooring everybody, having a good time. Staying cool today, which is nice, and the track is super dirty. It's all the Z drivers and G drivers <laughs> chopping the inside of every turn off every single lap. I'm like, watch everybody do it right in front of me, and I'm like, cool, we wonder why there's so much dirt on the track. But it's got some camber in the back, and I think it's getting the inside of the tire too hot and delaminating these tires. I don't even know what we're on. They're like uh, Foligno things or something. Whatever they are sponsored by. And they're, they're definitely coming apart. Before he leaves, we're on the trailer here. You've been building this forever and you're now finally driving it. Uh, it's been an on and off process, but here we are. <laughs> yeah, so Cressida, how do you say it? Cressida? I say Cressida. I do too, There's, it's a mix of both. I feel like it's the Hispanic community that goes with Cressida. Okay. I've seen that. <laughs> Cressida, okay. Cressida. I feel like that's how I pronounce it my whole life, but I yeah. did grow up in South Florida, so maybe that explains a lot. So this thing is a chassis that's not as common but should be because they're super easy to find. This is phase two of it, but when I started building it in 2016, 2017, I mean, I'm just cutting and welding and, and I'm like, oh, what size is this? And I know Himes and extension, like swapping out the racks and everything like that. And It's super fancy though. So oh yeah, it's, it's got a lot of expensive shit. <laughs> It's got the Pro Mod dash button set up, dude. Is that an ARC style one? Yeah, this is the yeah, ARC one. That's the fancy one though, dude, with the momentary switches on the front, the big kill, kill, kill switch. <laughs> nice cage. Is the door open or no? It's an artificial door. Okay, perfect. Because I'm like, <laughs> this could be the door. I might be ripping that off when I open it. Did you disable this or is this still It's locked. Trying? I just locked okay, it. Okay, perfect. So, Linky, you see what engine's in it? Uh, it's a 1.5 Jay Z. That's why it sounds uh, so good. Yeah. Spicy. All right. Oh, damn. This is bougie. Yeah, no, I spent wow. some time. Carbon air. <laughs> that was big. a $15 difference on Amazon. Dude. Am I going aluminum or carbon? That's you know? sick. Though. I wonder what that sounds like in difference for like aluminum or steel. It loses a lot because I don't have a blow off valve or anything. So, like, on my old setup, it was just uh, the aluminum tube and it, and it was a lot louder. more. Yeah, yeah, as I said, I feel like the carbon would have less surge. Yeah, it's, it soaks a lot of it up. So, rear mount radiator. Yep. Intercooler, everything behind the bash bar and behind the core support. Oil cooler here. This is like a FC oil cooler almost, it looks like. It's a Koyo Rad one. Nice. Greddy Turbo ballin', dude. I got that at the Greddy Garage sale in 2016 for $400. What? And I've 
just beat this shit out of it for the past like. They six do years. make good stuff for sure. Yeah. All the Japanese companies, when they make a turbo for a motor, it's like the best. It spools way faster, makes more power. They're usually right on, yeah. but they usually cost like another thousand dollars more than the same equivalent in another brand. But that's cool. Stock intake manifold. He's smart. He knows. Whenever you upgrade the intake manifold, you lose all the bottom end torque and yep. low, low thr uh, throttle response for sure. Well, and, and the whole like concept of this thing, because it's a, since it's a 1.5, I went with a CP 10 to 1 pistons, so it's a high like compression yeah. motor. But keeping the again, why it sounds so good. Mm -hmm. But keeping with the 1J head, since it has the smaller ports on it, I just kept like this whole theory of like, well, more velocity means spools earlier, right? Yeah. So I kept it's a T3 flange turbo and everything. Yeah. I just kept everything like. What is it like 60 mil or so? Uh, what the uh, the ready turbo? Yeah. Yeah. Well, the the backside they're measured. It's a. Uh, oh, it's a T67 though. Yeah. Oh, so, so it's pretty big still. And then what suspension's on it? Uh, it's all silver suspension on it. Okay. Except in the front, it's got the S13 control arms. But um, then weld on still for the coil. Yeah, armor. weld on yeah. still. Yeah. Um, which That's cool until you crash in. Exactly. <laughs> I was I was literally, I've got knuckles for like S14 stuff all at home, and I was like, I'm gonna build all, and then I was like, no, yeah, well, it works for It now. works. Sick but car, I'm, have fun, drive you, safe on the way home. Yeah, you don't see a lot of these out here. And it's got the hard top too. Nice. Which is kind of cool. That makes it even more rare. The weird, weird roof wing thing going on there. It's got a sparkly bucket with a blanket. Yeah, what is that? E36. Oh my god, it looks like it's good. <laughs> I was looking at that earlier. <laughs> thing moves like 45 degrees. It's gonna flip over. Line. Is it a rally car? Oh my gosh, it's literally gonna flip over. Looks like it's got FDF on it. I can't do it. Oh, you drive it. Yeah. Okay, now it makes sense. Yeah. Female driven. Cool, this is the corner lights inside of here for a turn signal for the people who don't have Z, Z4 things. It's got a handbrake inside. Oh, there we go. Now we can see the Oh, does this still have the electric steering? Yeah. Okay, so these have electric steering, which is interesting. It's one of the first BMWs that had electric steering. What engine's in it? Uh, stock. So it's a three liter? Yeah, three liter. So M54 B30. And ported heads. Oh, okay. It's got BCs on it. Yeah, they're all good. Good angle. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, all hand me downs from this. Which the E36, E46, Z3, Z4, they all had pretty much the same exact suspension. Got the jam. Luxury. I actually removed them, and when I was like actually missing them, yeah, so I put them back in. Yeah. So yeah, it's standard like Z4, uh, E46 style. Looks like it's got a muffler delete, some lower control arms. Kind of cool too is if you check out there's a factory jack point here that really works well. Oh, so M50 intake manifold, yes. so that's a little bit different. Stock radiator, how much bigger the engine bay is than like an E36. So if you like flip around and look at the distance of the hood here and how much room there is here, it's so almost like a lot more valuable real estate for sure. So long that they had to put these braces here. This is a pretty crazy looking E36 here. We were driving together a little bit earlier. So Big Duck Club, Cage, Four Door, which is sick. Clicks in. This is like a full build. Get carbon dash, dude. Woo, jeez. Danger. Don't kick this box. <laughs> That's a big duck club dash, dude. Yeah, sweet. Dude, all this money and you put one piece headlights on it. I know. What are you doing <laughs> with the I one piece headlights? Way. It's just easy. Come on, dude. It's like a 416, right? Yeah. Crazy Bill Motor. One piece headlights. <laughs> I'll change it, I promise. <laughs> I'm just busting your ball. <laughs> This looks pretty gnarly. So how much power does this make? Uh, it's about 550 wheels. It's 11 to 1, it's still 93, so we've got to put it on, uh, oh, on shit. E and then... 550 on pump gas is sick. Then you got rear mount radiator set up there. Yeah, dry sump. Oh, damn. I didn't even see the dry sump pump. Yeah. Yeah. Jesus. Holy, yeah. dude. Dry sump pump. Yeah. But truck mount. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever 
this huge bracket. Yeah. It's crazy. Look yeah. at the size of this pulley for the power steering. This is the same power pump for six years and the same rack for five right. years. I won't talk shit then. <laughs> it works. Can't yeah. talk shit, Actually, I won't work. A buddy of mine uh, who was in the V like right when it started, uh, his name's Todd Ho. He did the, yep. he, he pulled the, the spring out of the pump and just like took the torch and was like one, two, three. Okay, it's soft enough now. Put it in, and that I haven't touched it since. Yeah, so that's crazy. The is a little harder, but it's I, there's no post in the cooler. No cooler, no nothing. No runs nothing, forever. Just runs well, what size is it? Two sixty-five or two eighty-five? Two eighty-five. Two eighty-five. Yeah. It spins. It's fast too. I was driving with them earlier in my car, and it was moving pretty good. So sweet, nice car. Thank you. No worries. Then we got a Z with some flower livery on here. Oh no, it had a chassis mount wing. Crazy. Oh, that's a huge exhaust tip, too. Jesus Christ. Looks like you just put this radiator in. It's super nice and clean still. Some plenum spacer here, too. Extra 15 horsepower. That's right. All the torques, bro. I feel like most people that are watching my vlog don't even know what a Z31 is. <laughs> This is like the OG 300ZX here. It's got the, the turbo scoop on the hood. Yeah, Aaron said it is turbo too. It is turbo? Oof. Yeah. Oof. Time's getting a hold of this thing, okay? <laughs> dude, he's been getting down with this thing now, dude. Oh, it's a factory turbo too. You can see it has It was a, a factory yeah, turbo? Yeah, look. Oh, yeah. Or at least the hatch was, or whatever yeah. that is. <laughs> right. <laughs> Like car is a few different colors. So on there. Oh, it still has all the Z31 rear suspension too, which is like semi trailing arm. Interesting. It's a turbo motor, a VG30, or what is it? Yeah. VG30. How much power does it make? So, probably like 250 to the wheel. Okay. It comes stock 205, and all I've done is up the boost from the bottom of the tank and add an intercooler. That's okay, it. sick. Does this have like an S13 front sub, or is that how they came? I was gonna say, yeah, it looks like you're cutting off holes and stuff. Yeah. This thing's cool. Been yeah. in the dirt a few times with some really expensive wheels though. Ooh, they're real. Oh, oh it is left hand that. drive, that's cool. So Power FC, looks like it's got Z-Tronics, old school wideband in it. Lexan windows with the slider. Shoo! Baller. You can't fit the the meal through there at the grocery <laughs> or at the drive-thru though. Have 13B in it still? Yes, sir. Ooh, boo! What Ooh. happened? At MSR, 100 oh, miles. No. 100 miles. <laughs> These poor works. Big turbo, single. Got the intercooler right in front of the rad with some brackets holding the radiator off the intercooler <laughs> piping. This will pour on the bomb too. Okay, <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Left-hand drive FD drift car. Oh no. The expense is real. It hurts. <laughs> it hurts. Thank you. This guy is quesadillas over here. They're it fits. Here. It fits through the glass. They're actually, <laughs> they're actually really good, the quesadillas. Yo, you f***ing heard it. <laughs> you, heard, you heard it first. Hey, Bob. 350Z. I don't mean to sh throw any shade, but there's lots of them here, so we're going to keep moving on. E34. That's a weird one. That's different. I doubt it's a 525 because it kind of had a V8 sound too. Got style, five in the rear. So I think it's a 530 motor. I'm not sure. It's tough to tell by the oil pan. You don't see a lot of those. I drove with him earlier. This is an SR car. Kind of interesting seats. It's got ultra sealed shield aluminum seats in it. That's weird. But this car is actually really nice. People in Houston found it, and he still made it to the event and did some drifting today. So, found the truck, got it back, got here, and uh, was able to get some laps done. Super nice rig, trust, everything, S14. I don't know how much about the car, but it's kind of cool to see it actually get back. Almost crack free dash. Look at this handbrake setup. What? It moves the master back there and it's on this rod and it's like hose clamped to the rod for wow. strength. That's an at the track fix for <laughs> sure. I love that. That's really good. 
This is the best car here. Right here. Miata. Yeah. I drove it yesterday. So it's a 1.8 Miata. Um, I think it was a 1.8. He explained it to me yesterday. I drove it. It was fantastic. It makes me want to build another Miata for drifting. Crazy wing. Super strong. You can stand on it. He had pictures of him standing on it yesterday. He's a bit lighter than me, so I won't prove that fact. Uh, it's got a Mazda Speed Turbo underneath. I'll just pop the hood. Oh, nice. I don't think he'll care. You're watching this. <laughs> so stock Mazda Speed bolt-on turbo setup. Wow, that's a good cool air filter, Super Miata cross flow radiator, and coolant delete. Put a valve on there. It's about 200 to 220 horsepower. <laughs> but we'll make sure that's all the way shut. Give it a tug. I'm not gonna be responsible for that. It's got great torque, drives good, good angle. Cool, it looks nice, cool body kit and stuff. Oh, I was just talking smack. <laughs> I was like, hopefully he's okay with me opening the hood right now. I looked at it, okay, I already cool. opened it, went over it. <laughs> and he said it makes like 200, 220 wheel. Yeah, sweet. Yeah, it's really good. The turbo spools so fast that it's like, you're waiting on the motor to make power more than the turbo. How long has that motor and everything been together? Motor's been in the car for three years, and the turbo's gone on a year. Okay, so pretty reliable, mm -hmm. solid. And it's a welded 4.1 and with a five speed from an NB. Does it have any arms and stuff in the rear? It has extended upper rear. Okay, did you guys do that yourself? Or they yes. destroy or die? Home, or home, home, home done. Home done, that's cool. Yeah. That's good. And in the front is... Crack spacers. Yeah, sick. Sweet. Have hey, fun. Thanks. You gonna do some more driving? Yeah. Okay, I'll see you out there. Corvette, C6. Looks like FDF, if I had to guess. Quiet. Somehow, I don't think that's the case. <laughs> cheapest C6 drift bed in the country, I'll bet you a dollar. Well, how much can I buy it for if it's the cheapest one? I'll sell it to you for 15 grand. Oh, that's not the cheapest. That's what I said I'd sell it for. Ah, I see, I tried to get him with that to get a cheap Corvette. It didn't work <laughs> out though. So, LS1 Corvette, same type of deal. It's got an angle kit, handbrake. C6s are cool, but I feel like C5 hardtop coupe is like, it's really cool. Just because of the way oh, I know it is. It's, it's kind of neat. Another Z. More Z's. More Z's. Oh god, they're everywhere. They're everywhere. You know what Z's are for? Sleeping. And I, I can't talk any shit more Z's. Um, <laughs> I can't talk any shit because they're the ones turning laps all day, 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 non-stop, non-stop, never ending, and uh, they don't ever really break. C36 coupe, interesting shift setup. It must be like a dog box or it's a 36 or something. The shifter's really far back. It's got Holly, yeah, if I let's see. Equal length or close to equal length oh, headers. But that sounds pretty rad. Yeah. It's got the SLR top plates. Little blower right here to keep some airflow. That's interesting. SLR kit with a big front bar, giant front bar. Looks like a Bimmer World one, maybe, or a Turner. It's got like a slider on it so you can slide it on the bar to make it stiffer or softer. Is this your car? Yes, sir. What engine is this? Uh, 99 Camaro. Okay, so now it's on stock. Stop. The Brian Tilly action in the power. Cam and stuff. Uh, double springs and okay. uh, Trunnion. Upgrade. Sweet. Well, how much power do you think it makes? About 350 maybe. Yeah, it's light though. It's, 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 it's stock. 700 pounds. Yeah, it's pretty good. Enjoyable. What's the blower for? Just to keep cool uh, air blowing? This was a time attack car and okay. it was hooked up to a defroster. It definitely was a time attack car. Yeah. You can tell by the cage. That's cool. Yeah, the transmission brace. Look at the center console. I didn't even notice that. That's funny. It looks cool. It looks like a race car when it's on track. It's good livery. More Lexan. This thing looks pretty spicy, actually. Oh, yeah. LS. Tubbed. Stitch uh, welded. Uh, trailer fender. Leaking a little oil. That's all right. Extended at, uh, lower control yeah. arms. Cut knuckles. Get wrong. Not wrong. Wrong. It sounds like an NATJ. Okay. So, oh, it's caged, but full interior pretty much. And hey, 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 yep. sick, very cool. How's it work out there? Uh, it's all right, but I, I'm, I'm just underpowered. Yeah, I need some more jam. Yeah.
I feel like the thing with these cars is just making sure the rear end gearing is perfect with this power and then it works okay. I think I did a mistake. So I had two of these. Yep. And this was the original uh, five speed. And I bought another one that was an automatic. Mm. And so I took that diff and then my knuckles and got that welded. And I put that diff on. And I think it has a different gearing than the manual one. Oh, and it longer, actually helped me. I think okay. it's shorter, so I think it helped me yeah. in the long run without me even knowing about it. That's cool. Yeah, the auto diffs <laughs> are usually a little bit shorter because they're yeah. only four speeds. Uh, hey. 1J is going in. So okay, this that's is the good. last hurrah, the 2J. Sweet. I'll save it and put it's it in It's kind of nice storage. though because now these motors are worth some money because people build them. I have three them. of them. Yeah, okay, perfect. Yeah. He's been collecting, he knows. <laughs> so why 1J instead of turboing this motor? Uh, at the time when I bought the 1J, it was only 1600 bucks. Okay, now it makes sense because now they're 3500 for a crappy one. So yeah. That's cool. I just recently had it to the machine shop, so now it's all cleaned and everything. Nice. So it's ready for me to put it together. I'm going to stick with the stock uh, turbo, yeah. but I will swap out the cartridge for a steel wheel. Okay, yep. And just go with it like that since I've actually never drifted turbo. So nice. I've been doing this since 2016. Never had turbos. Well, you'll have a lot more fun with another with double the horsepower for hopefully, sure. Hopefully. Hopefully. Enjoy. I uh, will. The wagon gang, dude. Yes, sir. Nice to meet you. Man. Nice to meet you, bro. Yeah. I saw you and your boy yesterday driving. Thank you. Wagons. Oh no. Yeah, I gotta I gotta replace my studs. Oh, the studs out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you gotta lock tight those things heavy. Yeah. I, well no, the uh, the wheel I was using, the the center board is just a little too tight. So oh. I had to, had to work them on. Got it. I'm gonna replace the studs. I got stuff. Yeah, I always, I always have to clean these because they get little burrs on them. Yeah. So I always like use a whiz wheel and clean them. Clean that side. Yeah. Because sometimes they get stuck on there. You got to kick the shit out of it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's super simple. Stock 3.0. Uh, so you swapped the 3.0 in? Yeah. yeah uh, I had a sedan last year. Okay. I, I flipped it at this track. Kind of funny. Same day, same weekend. Uh, on its roof. Yeah. yeah. Oh um, shit. Uh, so I swapped everything from my sedan to this. It was a 330, so it's got 3.0. Yeah. So you have five speed, 330 rear. Super simple. Airbox stock. Yeah. Yeah, so like 230 wheel. Yeah. That's they get down, dude. Oh man. And having the extra weight in the rear is just like it's like the cape, the icing on top, man. I it's like, like both ways though, because you get the extra weight, but also you get all the aero at high angle. Yeah, yeah. It almost stops you from over rotating. Yeah, exactly. I found that out when I was at uh, Ebisu a couple weeks ago with my wagon. I saw that. That was and so badass. I lost the rear windows in it, <laughs> and it was totally different car to drive <laughs> after that because I lost like giant wing end plates. Spray nitrous on this thing. Damn, you oh, squeezing, damn. bro? You squeezing? Yeah, yeah, just <laughs> <Bring it. laughs> it's it's it. M52 or M54? 54 yeah. Three liter, two five? No, two five. Two 75 five. shot or what? Uh, yeah. Yeah. I bought it for like eighteen hundred dollars and yeah. just like swapped everything from my other car to it. Sick. Yeah. He's squeezing, oh, bro. Yeah. yeah. No, you 75 shot, it'll live forever. Yeah. Yeah, I had 150 shot on my S52 car for probably two and a half, almost three years. I, I got it up myself. to 1,300 PSI oh, that's uh, yesterday. It ran down, down the straight. Huh? The clutch didn't like it. <laughs> <laughs> Going down the straight. That's funny. Like, I flat shifted third. Woo! Oh, yeah, like, smoked it. Smoked it. <laughs> yeah, well, if you tuned it at a thousand and you went to 1300, that's probably another 25 yeah. or 30 horsepower. Yeah. M Tech rear bumper. One day you gotta tell me what suspension to put on it. I broke 16 I axles this I'll year. I'll tell you if you give me this 16 bumper. 16 axles. Dude. I need this bumper. These no, it went, when rare, he said, dude. He was like, look, you can't get out of your car even if you drop your bumper. And I almost wanted to say, look, my bumper is not replaceable. I have to order it from Germany or you something. Can't no, you can't get these. These are, so when he I'm not going to tell you how much these cost because then if you have one, you're going to try to sell it for that. He's like, somebody will just, you can't get them. he said, don't get out of your car. Somebody's going to run it over. I'm like, that's unacceptable. Unaccept that's I'm, unacceptable. I'm stop gonna, the I'm whole gonna, event. I need this bumper. <laughs> Actually, you can find the bumpers, but you can't find this. Yeah, yeah, that. That's impossible. The little valence piece. Yeah, so this was an M-Tech car? putting it back on. No, this was actually not an M-Tech okay. car. I've just put the bumpers on it. Got it. Kevin's 
far with What engine's in this? This is a B28 with like a ZF and an E30. I had to put a 315 out of an E30 in the rear yeah, end welded. Yeah, 315's good for here probably. The problem I'm having is the axles, dude. These, yeah, I've E30 killed axles. OEM 600 axles. I've killed like 16 axles this year. I've killed two in the but past two days. But where are you getting days. the axles? Well, I'm, well, first I was buying the crappy parts store axles because they're 120 bucks a pair. And they're and come on. Warranty. And then, I, well, I haven't been that crappy guy. I haven't taken them back. I mean, but, they uh, break, they break. Yeah, yeah. Well, I order them off the internet, not from the parts store. And yeah. I keep, yeah. But anyway, so I bought the crusty ones, 30-year-old crusty axles. That everybody tells me to do. Just go ahead and buy 1988, 150,000-mile axles, yep. and you won't break those. I've got one of those on the driver's side. It hasn't broken yet. I told you. And uh, I yeah. told you. And now I think my CSB is gone. Oh yeah. I have one with me, but so I'm not the doing thing like about that. the center support bearing is, if you don't preload it, they blow out. So when you install it, you're supposed to push it forward six mil and then tighten the bolts down. Word, yeah. Because it has to be under that. tension, otherwise it blows. I'm the gonna buy out. that fancy shaft that guy makes now. That's don't, like just 700 bucks. Leave it alone. Just put a new center support. Just get another. Have stop you seen where that guy's selling? Don't do this? any of that. There's a guy that sells a serviceable shit. drop shaft dude, now. A serviceable U-joint. Leave it alone, dude. Just find, get another <laughs> OEM center support, preload it, and I you'll be good to go. We, we, me and him both have CSVs on us. Yeah, they, they fail. You'll have yeah. that. But if you preload it, they last forever. Word. For sure. Yeah, I'll definitely try that. I didn't do that That's at fun. all. But yeah, 600 E30 axles. Lambo doors, bro. Yeah, dude. Quarter panel wide body all the way to Red or dead. Love that. Think, think pretty low on the Kiwamis. Got LS, S13, this is Max's car. He does all the uh, chase car shoots for most of the RTR stuff we do with the big arm on top of the car. He owns a company that does that. I think it was a six liter aluminum LS. But this thing like pops wheelies and shit. <laughs> Our life, bro. Dude, good up. feeling. Yes, sir. I have a good feeling. I was driving the other good feeling car yesterday. Yeah, do you like it? It was good. It needs it a needs, front sway bar. It needs sway bars for sure. Um, Downpipe bolts coming loose. Turbo elbow, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, always. Always. I'm taking them back to the shop and just welding them. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, for those stage six fasteners, have you used those yet? No. They're locking fasteners. That's, that's what I use when I'm going to use them. Dude, did you see us using the, uh, my protege as a chase car out there? I did. Is it working? It was sick. Sick. Yeah. I might have to have you chase me again later with that. Yeah. That'd be fun. Harrison's driving. Happy sick. Sick. I mean, you know he's a good driver. Yeah, he is. Notchback SR. This is the one you like the sound of. Yeah. Sounds really nice. Yeah, it's a top mount, equal length manifold, clutch fan. GK Tech clutch fan, it looks like. Look at that wrap, dude. I know. It's great. Brand carbon. Got wise fab. Cage. This car is an old FD car. Tyler McQuarrie drove this. Brad Hell drove, drove it. Quick change. Dog box. Now it has an LF. It used to have like a. It had a. I think it had a sprint car motor in it for a little while. It's like the guy grabbed it and put FDF on it and some stuff. It has shocks on it that I built like 20 years ago. <laughs> it's cool to see those cars live on for sure. Another ZG, another Z. And I feel like that's a wrap of this pit walk. Yep. Time to go drive and get some more ride along.
Okay, so I've been friends with Aaron from Lone Star Drift for like 17 years. We finally did a shirt together, so make sure you go pick one up at ChelseaDenofa.com.